Hey, I've been looking for you, but I haven't seen you around the locker room. You have? Honestly, I haven't had a reason to be in the SmackDown locker room before now. Yeah, I've been wanting to apologize for what I said to you at Survivor Series. I think I was a little harsh. <laughs> you were maybe just a little harsh, but nothing I can't handle. You made a mistake. Something I've done a few times in my career. Heck, I even crashed a wedding once. Not my proudest moment, but when you're in the thick of it, sometimes it's easy to get carried away. Anyway, I shouldn't have said everyone on SmackDown was mad at you. You weren't mad? Oh, we were. But if we stayed mad at every loss, no one would ever be friends. So I'm sorry. And I'm excited for your match tonight. As far as I'm concerned, you should have won that first one too. You had Ava on her heels. You watched our first main event match? Of course. Though, while I respect that you didn't try to cheat, you gotta work on your ring awareness a little bit. Fair enough. Good luck out there. Get ready for one of WWE's most eye-popping athletes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from New York, the Superstar. You can see exactly why the arena is full here tonight. This is a match with major stakes. This second generation superstar looks to finish on top in this one. Tireless and fearless, it's Ava Moreno. And from the Bronx, New York, Ava Moreno. I don't know if there's a more talented wrestler than Ava Moreno. Uh, I wouldn't go that far, but Ava's drive has kept her fighting for victories and opportunities. She's got a chip on her shoulder, and that makes her dangerous both to opponents and herself. Ava Moreno is going to pull out everything in her toolkit tonight. For those of you who have been following Ava Moreno and her opponent's rivalry over on Main Event, you're in for a treat. They're here on SmackDown to settle the school. And for those of you new to the rivalry, you're in for a treat too. These two haven't been in WWE very long, but they're already determined to crush each other. Unfortunately, they won't have much crushing time as this is a five minute time limit match, so they better crush quickly. Just extending parts that don't extend. Well placed kick. And did you hear the impact of that? Ava telegraphing that one. What a forearm. <laughs> this is Larry. She's beginning to flag a little. Sure, 
Why, but she releases the hold. Well, I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. Uh, forcefully delivered. Boom! Lands. Oh man! Clearly waiting for that. And that definitely made solid impact. Nice amateur takedown. All the way over. Oof. She did her homework there. Evading offense. She returns the favor there. Mistake. Ava's in real danger now. Got the arm. Disorder. It's got to be over. Trouble. In trouble. Tap out. She's got to tap out. She got. Oh, this trap, but she gets away. She saw that one coming. Big throw. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. Oh, get ready. She knows exactly what she's doing with this submission hold. Just like you've done your whole career. Tap out. There it is. And now about to do it, folks. Here is your winner, the superstar. What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. It's like I've always said, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And did you see the finish of that match? What a victory! In fact, it's a day of victories for this whole family. Not only did my niece triumph in her first match on SmackDown, it's finally time for that big announcement I've been teasing. As you know, I recently appeared at Survivor Series, and it seemed that impromptu moment scratched an itch that the WWE Universe didn't even know they had. After some talks with corporate, we've come to an arrangement. And starting next episode, Ruthless Digressions will be an official WWE podcast. It'll be all the same content you love, just with a little more WWE oomph behind it, including a brand new studio set so we can record video for all our exclusive interviews. Move over, Broken Skull Sessions and Steve Austin. There's a new podcast host in town. And it's me. I don't know about you, but I desperately need a vacay. Sun, sand, margs, and if a superstar wanted to join me and maybe have a match for research, I could get WWE to pick up the tab. So any interest in doing a little work south of the border? First round's on me.
Hey, want to get dinner after the show tonight? Yeah, I ended up in town to shoot some podcast tie-ins. What? Can't. Apparently I'm babysitting for Lacey Evans. Really? I didn't even know you were friends. We're not. Long story. Thought I was filling in for her in a match. Turns out I'm filling in watching her kids. She says she'll help me get a match, though. Any way to get a match is a good one. Nothing wrong with doing someone a favor. Of course, there is another option. I'm listening. No, well, you could always just not show up. Then there would be someone looking for an opponent. Lacey wouldn't be happy, though. I don't want to mess with someone's home life, even if Lacey essentially tricked me into helping her. I'll babysit. Who knows? Maybe I'll even have fun. Probably for the best. Don't let them push you around. I think I can handle a few kids. You'd be surprised. No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a bright future. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from New York, the Superstar. Ever since I took my spot here at the commentary table, I have wanted to call this match. I cannot wait to finally do it. This is a woman ready to do some damage. An up-and-coming talent in the women's division. Yeah, I'll tell you, a few women have the heart and determination of Aaliyah. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Aaliyah! She has the quickest victory in WWE history, beating Natalia in 3.1 seconds. Hey, who knows, Michael? Maybe she'll break that record tonight. Yeah, look at Aaliyah. She's just so excited to be performing for the WWE Universe tonight. Well, let's see if that excitement translates to a win. We've got ourselves what should be an entertaining contest as Aaliyah takes on a challenger who is quickly making a name for herself here on SmackDown. Name is the key word there, Cole, as in the thing that's opening doors for her. I have it on good authority. She's making friends up and down the roster. I even heard she got this match in return for babysitting Lacey Evans' kids. That shows a lot of trust, Corey. That sounds more like desperation to me. Oh, what a kick! For a fisherman buster. I guess Lacey Evans is out here to deliver a personal thank you for the babysitting help. It doesn't look like she's in a thankful mood. Put this one away. She powers out immediately there. Ooh, European uppercut. She's taken 
some big hits here. Measured elbow drop driven down. She's setting the pace of this match. Her offense is on point right now. Delivers the knee drop. Ooh, stiff kick. Oh. She had it scouted. Momentum isn't completely out of Aaliyah's side just yet. If Aaliyah was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. And well-timed maneuver there. She goes to the outside now. I think she's starting to get worried. Outside, but this one has to end in the ring. How's that for a counter? Standing drop kick. Great ups. Things not going how she'd like. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Telling her opponent that she has even more left in her tank. Oh, drop kick. Right on the money. This could do it. She kicks out with force. Amazing effort by her. Oh, she had to wear with all the counter Aaliyah. Uh-oh. Half and half suplex. Lights up. Oh. And now Aaliyah being measured. how much the previous distraction shifted the tide of this match. Tried to stay vigilant the whole time, but it proved too much in the end. Yeah, they put up a good fight, but you have to imagine her head was not in the right place after that distraction. That's true, Sax. Well, misery loves company. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, Lacey Evans and Chad Gable. Two of the very best at doing whatever it takes to win. I think we're about to see some brand new ways of cheating. Iron sharpens iron, Saxton. This wrestler grew up in the business, and now she's growing up before our very eyes. And their opponents, first from New York, the superstar. Matt 
matches like these with talent of this caliber. This is why sports entertainment is in art form. Let's see if this superstar can show us something special tonight. The original bro has arrived. Saxton, didn't you ride one of those to the arena today? And her partner, representing RK Bro from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds. The original bro, Matt Riddle. There's sometimes a worry for NXT stars. Can they make the jump to the main roster? Riddle's been at home in WWE since day one, winning numerous titles, big WrestleMania matches. This guy's a star. Byron, stop trying to catch the flip-flops. Oh, but I only need a right flop to complete the set, Michael. They're like 49 cents. Go buy some. A simple question of babysitting has brought us here to this mixed tag match where one side will be trying to put their opponents to bed early. There might not be a title on the line tonight, but I get the impression that Lacey Evans is just as fired up as if they were. You can't mess with someone's kids. Unless they're jerks, then it's fair game. Able to reverse that one. On the road with the boot. She gets the tag. That means her opponent has to leave the ring, too. Belly to belly suplex. Bam! Both arms captured, and vitriolic stops. Absolutely brilliant. Ruthless. Ooh. Both wrists captured. so good. A second gut red suplex. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull up a move with that much weight behind it. Oh, oh. He takes control. Don't let the button. Finds a counter for Gable. Kick 
to the back. Riddle continues his assault here. Gable has to gather the energy to turn the tables. One after another. Roundhouse on the mark. Gut wrench applied. Big time suplex. But there's more to come. A second gut wrench suplex. And what a reversal from Chad Gable. Banging back with their own counter. Almost take that. Can Gable withstand much more of this? Riddle just smothering his opponent with offense. They simply gelled in a way that it seemed their competition simply could not. Kind of like us, guys. I actually prefer to think of our dynamic more like a two-on-one handicap match against you, Saxton.
Okay, now that we've had it out in the ring, can you agree not to message me anymore? What are you talking about? I don't think I've ever messaged you. Right, fine. Then can your anonymous burner accounts stop messaging me? I don't have anonymous burner accounts. You were the one messaging me and asking me all those questions. No, I wasn't. Let me guess. You got a bunch of random messages from an account who wouldn't leave you alone, and when you told them to stop, they said they'd meet you in the ring before Raw? Pretty much. I traveled all the way here just to make it stop. I did think it was weird for you to mess with me after I helped you on NXT 2.0. Looks like we both got played. Great. So that match brought us no closer to getting this person to knock it off. <sighs> hey, did they ask you what your favorite smell is? No. Great. So that was just me. Well, let me know if you find out who it is. I want to take this person out. Same. And I will. Well, that was fun. 
Honestly, I'm glad we got the chance to hang out. Even if it took you harassing me to make it happen. Oh no. It's okay. I get it. I can get a little overexcited sometimes myself and take things too far. Although, asking my favorite way to prepare potatoes was just weird. But next time you have questions, just send me one big list and I'll get to them when I get a chance. I didn't send you those questions, Fanny. She did it again. Both got duped. What? You aren't the one who won't leave me alone? Oh, come on. I left my brother's wedding to come down here and end this. I didn't even get to do the chicken dance. And that's the best part. We need to figure out who's doing this. Send me everything they sent you. There's got to be a clue in there somewhere. I will. But don't judge my answers. I was very honest. Too honest. On second thought, read them again and tell me if you can pick up on anything. Will do. It's the second generation superstar who's here to write her own story. The following is a Tornado Tag Team Match. Introducing first, from New York, the Superstar. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. Let's see if this superstar can show us something special tonight. A young lady who loves to fight, Cora Jade. But does she actually like skateboarding? And her partner from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade. A bright future for this young woman. Yeah, but she needs to stop focusing on skateboarding and start getting mean.
If Cora wins tonight, maybe she'll do some skating after the match. Or maybe she'll crack that skateboard over your back. J.C. Jane, Gigi Dolan, Toxic Attraction is here, and they look amazing. And Gigi Dolan and J.C. Jane, Toxic Attraction. In short order, these two young women have established themselves as the dominant force in NXT. Yeah, multiple tag team reigns, multiple main events. Dolan and Jane yeah. both have bright futures in WWE, even if they have a bit of an attitude problem. JC Jane, Gigi Dolan about to showcase their dominance in the women's tag division. You know, normally I'd say this won't be pretty, but in this case, it definitely will be. And we're underway with this tag team tornado match stemming from some social media duplicity. I don't know why anyone has to make such a big deal out of a harmless online prank. Harmless? That was... Sweeps the leg for the takedown. Looking to step over. And it was offense with a hurtful purpose. The submission is locked in here. Bout coming. It's all about coming. Trying to break the submission, and she does. This could do it. So that breaks the count immediately. It's unthinkable. Someone beating the one count at this point. Able to get the advantage here. Top position to be quiet here. Turning to the ring. Clothesline! Producing a trampling. Looking bad for her here. Very measured elbow drop. Ooh! Strikes with a kick. Good defense. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Standing drop kick. Great ups. She's struggling to defend herself. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Go on, breaker. Uh-oh. Clearing the table. They're going to take it to the next level. What is this superstar thinking? They're thinking about the end. Finishing this thing off. Give it 
ends with an impressive tag team win. These two had no trouble adapting to the stipulation and utilizing each other's strengths. Impressive stuff.